Good morning, gang. This is uh, Uno Gear, and we're going to make a uh, little video about uh, GPS Visualizer. This is version 2.0. Um, let's take a look at how you create a map here using GPS Visualizer. Some of the settings you, you should change. Under General Parameters, I always like to change the initial map type to uh, Google Terrain because I like the way that looks better than the, the normal map. And I would change the unit setting to US rather than metric because we want it in miles, not kilometers. Under track options, the only thing I'm really going to change here is I'm going to use this tick mark interval as a um, guide for how far I want to walk every day. So if I want to walk four miles every day, that's what I would put in this box. And that's what I'm going to put in here. So we'll put a four in there. You can make that whatever you want, but this is good for planning purposes so you can see how far you should get along the trail before you actually start looking for a place to spend the night. So uh, that's all we're going to change in that section. And down here in the waypoint section, um, we're not going to change anything right now. We're going to leave the waypoint labels to mouse over. Uh, when you get ready to print your map, you want to come in and change this to to uh, all and then you will get the descriptions printed right on the map as to what the waypoints are. And um, the only other thing you want to change in here is you want to change this uh, show waypoints. You want to change that to all also. So that's all our initial settings that we're going to change. Over here on the right, upload your GPS data is where you're going to get your files from. So we're going to click on this button here that says choose file. We're going to come in here. We're going to find a uh, GPX file. The one I've been using right along is this uh, Wilcox Lake Loop, so we'll use that again today. And uh, hit the open button, then come down here where it says draw map. We're going to click the draw map button. Leave this tick mark in the open and new window windows uh, window. Because what will happen is if you open it in this window, then when you come back in here, you're going to have to rechange these settings again. And you don't want to do that right away. So go ahead and uh, draw it in a new window. And that way, when you get ready to redraw your map, you can just close the, this window here with a map on it. Go back in and uh, change the settings that you want. And then click redraw again, and you should be in good shape to redraw your map when you get ready to print it. Um, this is our map, and as you can see, there are two tracks on here. And there's two tracks in the track box here. So we got Brownells Camp, which is the red track. If you click on that, you can make it disappear. You can make it come back. You can do whatever you want with it there. And we have this Middle Lake Outlet Bushwhack, which is the blue trail down here at the bottom. If we click on that, we can make it appear and disappear. Um, the reason that does that is because you may have other tracks in your GPX file that you really don't want people to see, so you can just turn them off before you print the map in there. If you have a lot of extra tracks in your GPX file, like I have a um, file that I did for a hike from Northfield to North Creek. It's got like 15 different tracks in it. This box gets so that it covers up the whole right-hand side of the screen. If you want to get rid of it so that you can see more of the map, then you can double click on this gray bar at the top of the track box here. And when you do that, it disappears, the track box. In order to get it to come back, you can go ahead and double click on it again and it'll come back. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find, let's zoom in here a little bit. And let's see if we can find some of our tick marks here that we put on the map. So that. Uh, see how far we are walking. So if you start here at Brownells Camp, we'll be able to come up here and find our, there's our four mile tick mark right there, just on the other side of the river. 
it's a four mile tick mark so that's if we were going to walk four miles a day that's how far we'd get and then we start looking for a campsite here and i know that for a fact that there's some really nice ones right by the river here so then the next day we continued on you'd have to get down here here's our eight mile mark so as long as you got down here by this parking lot somewhere this vec parking lot before you started looking for a place to to uh, spend the night you'd be in good shape for another night and then the next morning you could come around here and right here is our 12 mile about halfway through here to uh, Murphy Lake so that's how I use the tick marks as you can see all of our different uh, icons came over here this this tract was originally created in um, Garmin Base Camp. And when you use Garmin Base Camp files, it'll colorize these trails for you. It'll uh, put use the different icons that it asks. If it doesn't know what an icon is or it can't interpret it, then it's gonna either stick one of these blue flags on it or it's gonna stick a red globe on it with a pin, push, push pin. But that's uh, basically how you use this thing. Now, if I was going to print this, I would probably go back and turn on the labels for these icons here around the outside so I know, know exactly what they are. You can see right now when I put the mouse on them, it tells me what they are. But if I was to go ahead and uh, print this map and I want those that information already on there, what I would do is I would close, the, close this map. Brings me back to the previous screen. I would come down here under waypoints and where it says mouse over toolbox tooltips I would change this to names appear as permanent labels then I would come back here and just draw my map again and now this time when I draw my map it labels all those things for me so you can see all the different labels here on the map itself tells you what they are even tells you puts a little label on your tick marks now at this point if I wanted to print this thing what I would do is I would make a screen capture of the whole page I would size it <laughs> size it to the size of the map that I wanted And I would make a screen capture of the page. I would load it into Microsoft Paint and I would crop out everything but the map itself. And that's what I would use for my map. Um, so that's basically how you use GPS Visualizer. Um, if you need some GPX or files to play around with, you can go to my website at uh, Uno Gear Hiking. And uh, there are some, it's a whole GPS section on there. It's got different files for different places in the Adirondacks and the Northville Placer Trail and that kind of thing. So feel free to go in there and download a file. Come over here and stick it in here and see what it looks like. So uh, you see we got a little donate thing over here on the right hand side. This thing is free. But in order to keep it on the air, you know, it would be nice to make a little donation to these guys so that they can pay for their server fees and stuff like that so that you can be assured that when you come in here and want to use this someday, it'll be still be here. So that's it for now. This is Uno Gear saying uh, I hope to meet you out on the trail sometime. And uh, have a nice hike.